Hi, I'm Mark Gewisser, and this is my book, The Pink Line. The idea for it came to me about a decade ago when I began to notice how a, an explosive new global conversation was defining and describing the world in an entirely new way. This was carried on the winds of a, of a global LGBT rights movement. Uh, it was carried by the digital revolution. It was carried by the way people moved as never before across the world. And suddenly, in parts of the world that had never really thought about sexual orientation or gender identity publicly, there was a new public debate. Right now, I'm looking across the bay from where I live, in a really beautiful fishing village, to the Cape Flats, which is where the majority of Cape Town's brown and black people live, and to a place in particular called Tambo Village, where the first person I write about in this book, Tewonga Chimbalanga, lives. She is a transgender refugee in South Africa who came here from Malawi after she was pardoned following being sentenced to 14 years hard labor because she held a public engagement ceremony with her male fiance. And I write about how she is somebody who had to cross the pink line uh, to get to South Africa from a place where transgender identity and homosexuality is taboo to a place where it's allegedly accepted. So the way I get into this pink line is by telling 10 such stories from different parts of the world, ranging from Cape Town and Tewonga, up through Kenya and Uganda, to Egypt where I tell the story about an extraordinary lesbian couple who set up a, a sidewalk cafe during the Arab Spring and then had to go into exile. And then from Egypt outwards to Israel and Palestine, to India, to Russia, to the United States, to Mexico. And in each of these places, I, I get very close to a person or a family group or a community and tell their story. And the reason why I call it the pink line is because I see the pink line as a, as a new human rights frontier, how it has changed the way People all over the world, and not just in the West, are thinking about what it means to be male and female, what it means to make a family, what it means to be human. <laughs> 